So Sophia had like the best chances, Sophia, the best chances to make it in life because she had this huge vision of the field and she had the best education anybody could ever get because there is no one person who was so dedicated to her very personal needs. In a glimpse of, you know how, you know how much, how many weeks that was? And maybe it was just one week. One week where she needed something. She wasn't addressed or attempted. Maybe it was just a week. It brought her whole balance into decay. Now let's assume that people are getting into a vibration where they can achieve to be nearby the level of Sophia. To actually see things and have an overview and be enhanced in very many ways in life. It also makes them more vulnerable and maybe creative and maybe not. So what I'm addressing is that I hear that this person wants to impregnate a, a, a teenager to make a baby and get more money. In other words, he wants to throw a baby into the world, which he actually doesn't attempt to father with a woman she probably doesn't like. And I'm expressing what happened to Sophia fatherless by the way but she wasn't because of our dude and he was actually pretty nice to her and the other one called from mexico and she went into self-destruction and what was the horrible about it the choice she made in the glimpse of maybe it was just a week just a week where her parent wasn't present Okay, mister, that's what you want to do. That she adhered herself to another person. And that was the bitch of the class. And that she clung onto it for dear life. Because the bitch of the class was out loud spoken. And maybe Sophia didn't really want it to know that it was just a bitch. She seemed like she had it all figured out because she was loud and dictatorship. Manipulative asshole. So, and that was done, and a few years later, not very many, well, I had to figure it all out. What happened that the bitch was just a child of another alcoholic parent, and maybe both of them. And that was a school teacher, and doesn't really matter. But I could know because I saw her, together with another school teacher. Your school teacher, by the way. Your school teacher, Mr. Ooh, I'm smarty pants. I don't like God. I just pretend I like God, but I don't like God. But I'm going to go and get myself a bitch to make another bitch who's going to turn out like Sophia or myself who's going to bitch in the world with drugs because that's what the ultimate did. The drunk, then little girly, Sophia's classmate, went drunk with her other friend and that was like the new challenge. The first challenge was we not sleeping. So she fell asleep in the spa, almost drowned. The next challenge was, let's get drunk, because it's cool, because our parents get drunk, we do that too, they said. And in the, in the, in the church, in the church, on a Sunday, where everyone was there, teachers and students and parents, and the, and the pastor was there, and the groups of whatever, the sacred society of blah, blah. Here she comes, little bitchy. And she said, she wanted to take Sophia to her house, which was right around the corner. 
I had no mind for it, but I said no. And very shortly after, I noticed what was going on. She wanted to take Sophia to her house to get drunk. Sophia had never drunk alcohol. And get her into the spree of drunk, then smoking weed, then take pills, and then do cocaine, and then do heroin, and then go fuck off. And thank you, mister. I'm smarty pants. I don't like God, but I want to throw a child into the world. That's what you want to create now. Dumb shit. Fuck off. Don't you dare to address yourself to me ever again. Nothing can be nicer than this. Train and See you next time.